Hi, Bill here with 30 Minute Woodshop. Thanks for joining. Today, I'm really excited. I just got a brand new pad saw. Just got this from Wade Garrett for about 15, I think 15 95 plus shipping. Shipping is a little pricey, but hey, it's still a really good price for one of these. And you're asking what the heck is a pad saw? Well, pad saw commonly now is known as a keyhole saw. Um, however, the keyhole saws today are a lot different. The keyhole saws we have today primarily are made for chopping through things like drywall. This one's actually made for cutting keyholes, and you can see the size of the blade here. So, tell you what, let's get a close up of this, you can take a real close look at it. So, back in the old days when you had to cut a small keyhole, like a real keyhole, this was the saw that would be used. You can find these on the market uh, in used uh, tool stores, antique tool, tool stores, and those kind of things. Um, they're really nice, the blades are pretty well worn out. Um, the neat thing about these saws, uh, current ones you can't change the blade. This one you can extend the blade. Actually, you can take it all the way down to there, so you can stiffen the blade up quite a bit. Okay. Then, this is actually set up right now for a western push saw. If you really want to, you can flip the blade around and actually make it into a pull saw. So this isn't exactly how it, they use it. So generally what you want to do is you want to not do that. But you can do it. So the exciting thing about this is I got several projects that I, I need something like this for where I don't really want to break out the jigsaw and have to set that up. This is why hand tools are so good sometimes because the setup needed for a, uh, for a power tool is usually kind of extensive. Here you can just grab the saw start cutting, be done in a couple of minutes, and not have to pull the thing out, get everything prepped, set it up, and do all the kind of stuff. So that's where hand tools actually are, have an have a, uh, advantage. The great thing about this, this is a beach handle. Um, I'm going to put a finish on it. Right now it came unfinished. Uh, so, and the blade is not really that sharp. So I'm going to have to hit this, just touch it up with a file and sharpen those points up a little bit before I actually use it. But like I said, I'm excited. So like I said, I have several projects in mind for this already. I think it's going to be pretty slick. Uh, I, can already, I can already see I'm going to be using it once I get it tuned up a little. Like, like all tools, when you get, get them right from the, the uh, manufacturer, especially hand tools, you have to do a little bit of tuning. So all that said, I hope you got something out of this. Now you know what a pad, pad saw is. And do me a favor, hit like and subscribe. Until next time, good making.